Let's begin by creating a new folder components and inside of that folder creating the file product. We'll export a default function and we'll call this product and we'll destructure from the response the name and the price. And all that we'll do is return the name followed by the formatted with symbol price. Next let's go ahead and create a file product list. Inside of here we'll import the link component from Next.js and then we'll import the product component that we've just created. Then let's export a new default function and we'll call this product list and we'll destructure the products array from the props. If there's no products, let's return null. And if there are, let's return a list of all of our products. We'll create a list item and we'll specify the product ID as the key. And inside of there, we'll use the link component and we'll return the product component. It's important that we spread in all of our product into the component so we can safely destructure the name and price. And then we'll update the href for the link and we'll set that to slash products slash product dot permalink. Now inside of our index page, let's import the new product list component that we've just created. And we'll then update where we return all of our products. We'll simply render the product list component and pass in those products as a prop. Then we can see back on our local development server that we have indeed a list of all of our products, names and their prices. And if we click on one of those, they will take us to slash products slash the permalink. 